Hello out there. This is uh, Day Trader Rockstar for DayTradingRadio.com and Trader Lounge TV, the best trading chat room and live video of the market going these days, actually being hosted on Ustream. But you can actually come to the site here at DayTradingRadio.com and there's a nice little, uh, nice little uh, link there for Day Trader Lounge, the Tr Trader Lounge TV. I uh, just wanted to touch base. I'm going to give you a couple of stock alerts, uh, stock alerts going into next week. Three of my, uh, my favorite picks going forward. This is in addition to the 10 for 1,000 watch, watch list that's released each, uh, each Sunday uh, on the radio station. So uh, definitely come, back, come by and sign up for that. All right. So, uh, again, here's the trade lounge. Just to give you an idea, this trade lounge goes right to this Ustream site. You can see it says daytradingradio.com. Right now it's late night, so I'm off the air right now. Uh, normally there's usually charts right in this window, and there's a nice little chat going here. There's actually uh, traders in here right now, but I don't have it up and running. Um, but that's uh, on the air every day and every night, so come on by. And then we have some videos also on the site. I have all the news here that comes out, all the news, all the good blogging stocks, all the uh, stock market blogs. Here we got free magazines. Uh, trading resources here. I got a blog of technical analysis going on and all the way down. We got uh, educational videos I, These are all the videos I post on YouTube all linked up all free and everything just come by and get the education Definitely stop by the chat room and check it out All right, so uh, let's get back to some stock picking today. All right, we're gonna start off with uh, See what we could actually start off with here all right, we're just going to start off here with the S&P index. The S&P today, this is uh, all actually for next week, uh, the week of the 24th of uh, August. But this was Friday. What a great day we had today. I just want to show you some important technical things because I am a techn technical trader. And um, as you hear on the radio station a lot, and when I just go over my trades live on the radio and on the video, I just want to always say I, the emphasis I put on moving averages at different time periods here. And this is a good example. This is the 15-minute chart we have up here. And this is a great example of the powerful 20-period moving average. Uh, basically, there's three major averages. You have your short-term, your medium-term, and your long-term. I use the 20, 50, and 200 EMA, all right, exponential moving average. Not simple moving average, but the EMA. And each one of these time periods you go through when you do your research, say you're doing research on the daily chart, or you're doing intraday trading using the 5 minute, 15 minute, 60 minute chart. Each one of those moving averages carry over certain levels and they actually take, a, take on a different strength or a different um, perspective on each of these time periods. So in this case on the 15 minute chart, I really like using the 20 period moving average and you can see here back, you know, each time that the, you know, you have some really good areas where the uh, price action actually trades up to the uh, again, the 20 period moving average on the 15 minute chart. And today we had a good example of a nice gap up, a nice follow through, and a pullback right to that 15 moving average, and then a nice rally at, into the end of the day here. So, very important to uh, consider that. And that's just my little tip of the uh, tip of the week. Uh, watch the 20 period moving average on the 15 minute chart. A very important average to watch. Um, again, the 200 is also another good one, too. 200 uh, moving average, really strong on the five-minute chart. My favorite average to use on the five-minute chart is the 200-period moving average. So just another tidbit of information. Let's look at uh, three stocks here going into uh, next week that I really, really like. Again, I trade these live on the radio each day. You just come over to daytradingradio.com. Click on the link, and you're listening for live for free. No, no, uh, no charge to listen. And you can listen from work on your smartphones and stuff. All right, let's get back into the trade here. All right, this is Texas Instruments. Um, called along in it today. Entered my position today, actually. Uh, if you guys have been listening or watching the watch list, and tend to you know, a couple of weeks ago I went long t TXN and the semiconductor index. Uh, and probably exactly two weeks ago, or at least right uh, right when this semi rally was going, probably three weeks ago, if I'm thinking about it. One, two, three, four, five, two, three. Yeah, about three weeks ago, right down in this base, we were making a nice uh, base here. And I went long the semis. I took some uh, Intel. I took some Texas Instrument. And I took some other uh, semiconductors. And we rode those right up to our target point. Probably got out a little early. Uh, but the um, came right up to the 50 period moving average. And then we turn back down. Now, just revisiting the, in my scans and stuff, I see that this uh, Texas Instruments has come back almost to new lows here, 23.88, but not officially making new lows. Actually, making a higher low here. 
nice pullback to, if you look up here at the stochastics indicators slow stochastics you see these are back into an over oversold area here and each time you know and this is really good because we've been a lot I you know there's things that I just I'm not gonna waste time on the video here but there's a reason why these stochastics are good in this case better than back here all right and that's you know there's a whole the whole different article and education behind the stochastics that I'll go go into further on further videos and live on the radio but just to say that this is an excellent opportunity right here on uh, TXN this is one of my favorite ones going forward nice little double bottom we took an entry today and it's it's up on us it's up for us right now AKAM uh, this is a chart I actually had on the 10 for a thousand watch list uh, I think for last week and I said watch for the rumors of Microsoft for AKAM and then uh, my buy trigger was 2303 I had for the watch list and a target of 2553 so really broke above that uh, rumor came out we had a nice little run here and uh, X uh, AKAM actually took half off the table on, on a nice profit so it's always good to take profits in the market uh, but I still think we're gonna go uh, further up here on AKAM um, I still think we got some follow through we had a nice volume day nice base here very cheap stock uh, looking to hold the rest of my stocks in that one uh, another good uh, good one here that I want to bring to you. Maybe I'll even give you a couple extra here. Uh, Netflix. Now, what I like about Netflix, beautiful bottoming pattern here off the 200 period moving average. Again, it's important to have more than one indicator lineup. I work off a of five indicator system, so I would look for at least three of those indicators to line up here. Um, I actually have a video on that. You can always uh, you know just check out the video. It's on YouTube and it's also. Uh, just look under day trader rockstars five indicators and anyway well this were you know this has a lot of the indicators sh setting up right here but we're going to talk about this main chart pattern right now and that's the inverted head and shoulders here we have a little shoulder here um, a head down here and another shoulder over here so we want to watch that area that's a nice nice uh, formation here forming we're also holding the 20 and 50 period moving average right here we had a nice little day today. Stochastics came down into a nice, nice pullback, and when the stock market's in relative to the stochastics, again, there's different ways to read the stochastics. Relativity, or relative to the price action, is one very important one. You want to see a, you know, a comparative move in the stochastics versus the st uh, stock price. If you see the stochastics coming down real, and we're not making new lows or anything, that means the stock actually has some support at this level. So getting pulled back expecting this one to continue up here so a nice little pullback on Netflix NFLX Netflix who I think that's about it um, that's the three I'm going to give you but again I send out a, a 10 for a thousand watch list every uh, Sunday plus their live calls live on the radio every day and watch lists given out so um, hope you enjoyed that any feedback it can be uh, given at iron action at yahoo.com I'm day trader rockstar hope to see you in the markets and on the site